Mirage, best of one game here for the ESL, ESCA Pro League. It's Virtus Pro and Navi playing it out to see who can... I mean, for Virtus Pro's uh, point of view, this would be the third map victory in a row tonight. Pretty yep. pretty good round for them, or night for them, if, if that turns out to be the case. That is a good night's work, and they get the strong start as well. They will be starting on the CT side, and they're going for mid-aggression, and there's Neo starting off strong, taking out Edward. But then a firing squad, Snacks, Pasha, everybody pushing up. It was just the brute force approach. Both teams clashing at the top of mid, and now they've got a Guardian pinned down. He's going to try to do the best that he can looking for those headshots, but they've got him stuck in a corner, and he can't fight his way out. Pasha will find him, and it's going to be down to Seized. Yeah, great flank if there was anyone alive at top mid, but now it's kind of a little bit uh, wasted almost, and they also have the bomb up there, so they can't even sneak away or do anything. They're just going to be waiting, and you, you mentioned the word firing squad here. Got four people waiting in the middle. They're all crouching in Seized. Doing the best that he can, but it's not going to be good enough. Snacks and Pasha will take double kill each, and Virtus Pro going to win that round. So very, I mean, there was nothing subtle about that round. It's just, you know what? Meet at dawn in the middle of the field, in mid, in the middle of the city, in the desert. That's, uh, you know, I'm trying to get a roundabout point, you know. <laughs> we're going uh, we're going to, like, the outsiders here. You know. There you go. Just meet, beat each other up with bats. That's pretty much what happened right here. As close to, there was even one guy with a suit, so they could have got real personal if they wanted to, but, um, yeah. Cattle prod bats, dude. T side, T side Zeus man. It's gonna be cattle prods. Calling it now. They better make it possible. They better make it happen. Well, it looks like we're about to see a rush towards that B bomb site. It's gonna be Tech Nine armor mostly. Guardian with a deagle, of course, and Pasha falling back here. Grenade gonna be out, and it does no damage. It must have got blocked by the wall. Flamey gonna be the one kill by Anacos here, but he goes down as well. Great double opening on Flamey, and now the bomb is gonna be planted as well. Snacks gonna try and see if he can get a kill here from the window. Flashbang in as well. Now V, they have the bomb plant, and look who's coming up from behind. Seized here could play a vital role in securing this round here for the Navi team. Taz already down to four health and they might actually think about uh falling back right now they're gonna keep fighting for it anyway neil snacks pick up a kill but they don't know about seized he's the only one left and taz he doesn't have a kit so even if he tries to fake this it's not going to be too effective seized coming through he gets the one kill but he's on 10 health and taz coming up from behind he shuts him down but there is no time and now he will win the round regardless will he actually yeah he'll make it out he will he'll live so, so here's here's, here's an idea. Uh, what me. if what if uh, what if that cattle pro of yours? What if it only does like 25% damage, but it slows everything? Like it slows you down. So you like the draw speed. So like you can so you cattle prod someone and then pull out your gun and try and shoot them down before they can get their own gun. Out. <laughs> this is where we start. We were talk we were talking about this during Stockholm as well, where it's like you need to have the animation of somebody getting zapped with a with a taser, right? They <laughs> they kind of just like go bored and just you know slam into the ground. Uh, that, would be good. that would be good, but then no, they shouldn't add anything like that. I hope not. Um, <laughs> I feel like I feel like the taser is already right on the edge. Uh, right on the edge, dude. Like the edge is gone. Like it's you know, falling way off the edge. All right, like, all there's right. Wa there's water on that edge, Anders. All right. A bit scary. A bit scary. And Neil gonna be up in the window here, just trying to look over the smoke and. Navi with some uh, quick mid control, gonna be right on Catwalk and running into Pasha, will take him down. Snacks is gonna get the refrag on Seized and Bailey playing close here with the Deagle. He's gonna miss a couple of shots. He does a little bit of damage to Flamey, but Navi are gonna be just fine here. And Versus Pro have got to sort of mentally adjust to this as well. They've just been playing two teams where they've been able to do whatever they want, and it's been just fine, but now you can already tell that Navi are punishing them whenever, whenever they let anything go. He's a little bit of a surprise moment there for Guardian. He definitely had a heart attack. They're going to be able to find Snacks in the end. He will not be able to hold on to that Galil. And now we have to see if Taz is going to be able to uh, catch anybody off guard here waiting in window. But Virtus Pro, having done so much damage in that second round, they decided to take the risk. They decided to go for the Force Buy. And, well, it just didn't pan out for them at all in the end. So does, actually, does Taz actually survive this? Does he go for the peak? He will go for the peak. He's going to be able to pick up one kill, but that is going to be it. He actually chooses the long-range target as well. Brave play, Taz. Brave, but... Not going to work in the end. So, hard eco coming up here for Virtus Pro. And this is basically the best kind of scenario here for Navi. Now they have a round where they can just farm money. And Guardian, he should have that AWP, no problem at all in the next one. Well, 1 2, fourth round coming up. And Zeus and a flashbang on snacks. For shame. Are you mentally ready, Semler? I'm bracing myself, man. 
The Zeus is coming. Oh, oh. Well, yeah, that's clever. An underpass. That's clever. Unfortunately for him, oh my god, it actually works. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing, Snacks. You deserve that one. <laughs> okay. He Zeus Zeus as well. It could not possibly have been better. I don't know how you say "don't tase me, bro" in uh, in Ukrainian, but if I did, I would say it. Otherwise, they're stacked up on the A bomb site, and B is completely open. There's nothing else going on there. I mean, the, f the funny thing is, with that kind of a flashbang, he could have just sat down and shot him with the pistol. That would have been maybe even more effective. But still, thank you so much for uh, for making an interesting game. Yeah, thanks, Nax. Okay, that one I'll give it to you. That one was like stylish, right? He didn't just sit there in the angle, herp derp, and like wait for somebody to walk by. He set that up. Okay, okay, okay. For shame. All right, well then. Hmm. I'm curious. Triple kill for Edward here. Are they all back 10 kills? The last two were, but I didn't yeah. catch the first one, so. He's gonna make it a lot of money. Looking for the Ooh. much sought after Mac 10 ace. Not gonna be this time around. By Ali. He's gonna get a great double kill here and really wants to pick up a rifle somewhere. Gonna make the crossover. Not gonna happen though. Guardian is there to pick him off and it will be another round for Na'Vi in spite of some shenanigans here. VP now, what could they do? They've got the money, it's not a lot. They could buy an AWP with their armor, but it looks like they're gonna skip that for now. Yeah, unfortunately it was Bialy who had the money for it. Not exactly renowned for his uh, his AWP skills, Bialy, so they're just gonna go rifles across the board. Skimp on the helmet armor for three players, no kit either. And Na'Vi in the meantime, yeah, full buy and Guardian has got his AWP now, so this is gonna get tricky. No EWP here for Virtus Pro to try and counter him, and instead they choose the aggressive approach. But it seems like, yeah, to me, Navi, they're ready for this. They're one step ahead. Guardian, super passive, holding all the way back just in case, just in case Neo decides to go for the peak. Flashbang oh. does nothing to Guardian in that angle, and he's going to get the shot on Neo. Grenade follow up on Snacks. Look at the damage there. 59 in total, so. A lot of damage being output by an army, and this is a really critical round, I think, for VP. They need to switch gears here and start picking up rounds before it's too late. This all comes down to it. I mean, Bialy doesn't really have a target to work with. This is going to be down to Seize, who's trying to fake it out, basically. Or at least trying to probe this B-Sight, and there we go. Pop Flash out, and he actually gets stopped, Bialy, by that smoke landing right on top of him. He's going to be able to touch down a nade onto Seize, does a little, little bit of damage, and he gets the follow-up! Okay, then! That was perfect from Viali. It could not have gone better. So he's really trying to get the refrack here. I mean, look how low Snacks and Neo are, but right now they have the man advantage on VP's side, and Edward trying to get into window. It's going to take down Pasha, so now it's actually working out quite well for Navi here. Snacks wants to take the fight. Taz is low as well, but look at the clock here. 20 seconds. That's one person to be are who you might be able to me, stop Snacks? this. He's actually going to get that headshot, and Bialy's hiding in the corner. So many targets coming. 15 seconds, and he sprays long range. Edward going to drop him, and they should not even try and retake this. Oh my god. Snacks was waiting in, in connector. He was wired so tight. Yeah, a bit of frustration there on Snacks' side, because just imagine if Neo manages to get in there, he gets one kill at least, and he might have been able to snake a kill out onto Edward as well. Yeah, that's... In such a key round, you, don't, you do not want to be making errors like that. Virtus Pro are definitely going to be kicking themselves, and well, Navi, they're set. They've got everything they need. They hold on to the AWP for Guardian. They get the bomb plant. Everything is going according to plan. Four rounds for them at the beginning of this half. And all of this just through picks as well. I mean, they did manage to sneak Edward in behind enemy lines, I guess, getting him up on the short very quickly. Yeah, I think that was the key thing, really. Um, and also because VP, once they had two people that low, it's so hard to hold mid control, isn't it? You know, if you go into window, even just a peek, if there's a right HG going at the right time, you're going to instantly be gone. So they had to give a lot of mid control and leave, left a little bit of room open for Edward to pick up all those openings there. Four and one, and moving into the sixth round, they... We'll be able to make the buy happen here on VP, but it's not a very impressive buy. No, not at all. This took some juggling on their part. They actually got it down somewhat. Neo, there's the flash, and there's the tag. He's gonna go for the follow-up, and he actually picks it up. Edward gone already. Even gonna go for the peek into underpass, and this might get interesting, although... Yeah, that is gonna be Zeus waiting for him. So, again, they confirm that Zeus is playing that underpass position. Four on four situation now. Virtus Pro have used a lot of nades as well to just try and stop any kind of aggression coming out from Navi. And while Navi more than happy to just sit back, wait, 
force those nades out of VP, make sure that they don't really have a whole lot to work with, and better yet, get the kill. No passes there to save snacks! It's a very important frag there on Guardian as well of all people. Flamey now pushing almost into the flames over at the B-bomb side. He manages to stop himself for a moment. Zeus is going to go down. Flamey has the bomb. They should be able to put it down and they have a Molotov unseized. And this bomb plant position, I'm not entirely convinced that it's the best idea. But um, it could work out and it might be an angle at which this Molotov could actually be used by Zeus. Instead he's going to throw it up in apartments, try and buy a little bit of time. It's all going to be on Flamey. They realize that he's holding close and there it is. Flamey starts off strong. Not going to be able to get the follow-up on his snacks, however, and a very solid retake scenario there for Virtus Pro, off of a force buy, no less. Do they actually manage to find Guardian's AWP and save that? That's the question. Does Neo want that for the next round? Doesn't look like they're going to be able to get their hands on it. That's an unfortunate turn of events, actually. That would have been a huge pickup to be able to counter out Guardian, who has more than enough money to get that AWP. Just doesn't hesitate at all. Guardian goes straight for the buy. So yeah, Neo, I mean, they aren't going to have it, and nobody really had the bank for it either, so... Still, rifles across the board here for Virtus Pro, but a much better equipped team. They've got all the nades that they need for incendiaries. There's plenty of ways to waste Navi's time. So Navi, the key here is going to be down to Guardian, and we see him peeking into mid already, and he gets the flick. Lightning fast. He just strikes out, and Neo is gone. It's one of those kills where you have to imagine from Neo's point of view, it looked like Guardian didn't even stop. He just, you know, sort of strafes into the middle and instantly gets the kill there. Hard to deal with indeed now. Slovakian player is going to be back here and um, see if he can cover up Connector while one player from VP is still playing in window and that's going to be Snacks up there. Just again, if not having mid control, then at least trying to just see if they can uh, figure out what Navi are up to. Mm. Hoping that Edward's going to be pushing into short as well again. Seized will take out Bialy though, that's the B site opened up. They have the double rotation coming out into kitchen as well, but Navi, they aren't committing to this B site push. Seized is waiting around. Ah, but it will turn into the split after all. I thought for a second that they might try and go through Connector. There was that man flamey lurking in pit, but as he gets picked off, Navi start to show their hand. 40 seconds left, and now they begin to push onto a very weak Pasha Biceps, the only man here to defend him. And he actually gets headshot with the incendiary. Oh, wow. That's like a tag almost, you know, we're coming for you. Guardian, they're gonna get the second kill of the round for himself, and Taz, last man standing, not even anywhere near the action. So, no, I mean, now we're off at a terrifying pace here. And it's one of those things where you got to wonder if, you know, VP were almost sort of, you know, they've been playing too easy a matches where they've just been, you know, I wouldn't say falling asleep, but they've certainly been relaxing a little bit, um, resting on their laurels, as it were. But now they're going to be in a, in a slightly tougher match here. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. It's hard to go from, your, you know, just like idling to 100 really quickly. I mean, Navi came into this knowing exactly what they had to do. VP, I think you make a good point. Might have been caught asleep. Uh, and Mirage is such a dangerous map for that as well, especially if you start on that CT side. You can't allow the T side to just get off to such a strong start. Effective trade there by Navi as well. They deny the save, so they have nothing going into this round, Virtus Pro. And we have to say as well that Virtus Pro have really been electing to go for a, a super aggressive strategy. Based on how much damage they're doing and these kinds of weird pistols force by situations, they keep forcing up, and so that keeps giving Navi the chance to pull away. So up to five rounds, Navi, that's perfect for them. They have so many rounds now. If they can get one more, they're going to be perfectly happy with this half. Yeah, they really are in a great position here early on in the in the first half. It's already looking good here for the terrorist side. Zeus getting shut down to 11 health, though. He did get a little bit of damage on Bayali, but still favorable trade for VP there. And Flamey chasing some Mac 10 kills, as you do. Not exactly the best gun for the long-range battle, right? But he manages to get that reload off in time. Seized is currently working his way over to the B site, and it looks like they should be able to get out onto the B site yet again here, Navi. VP not really having much luck at all getting onto that A site. I don't... Have, have they gone for a single A I site mean, play yet? I don't think so. Navi. No, not really. Uh, I think they've won some rounds in the middle, but then otherwise yeah. it's been B all along. You're right. Um... I mean, a really reasonable choice here for Navi. Initially, they had the battle over at A ramp, but then one guy in middle and one in window. That's three people you know where are at A, so at most it's a double stack at B, and obviously we can tell there was no stack at B at all, so um, Navi just using the information they got of that round to uh, to make it work. Flamey, Mac 10 in hand, has got the one kill, and I think he's out chasing somewhere. Edward might be about to meet his end, and that might be an AWP saved here for a Neo. That'd be great. Oh, that'd be fantastic, yeah. Seized will catch out Taz, but that's not the end of the world. It's Pasha who has the AK. 
And if Neo can survive with the AWP, this is massive for Virtus Pro, actually. They they would have had the money after this eco to buy one, but if you can save that kind of money, forty-seven fifty, that's that's pretty huge. I think Virtus Pro right now really they they keep checking themselves because they're they're thinking to themselves, why haven't they gone to a site yet? Really, you know, Flamey in the last round kind of so, kind of sold like maybe the intent that Navi would want to try and head over to that site soon. But this is turning into the guessing game, basically. When are Navi going to try and change it up and hit that A site hard? And that comes down to the timing with Zeus. This could also come down to the pick here. Guardian again with the AWP, and it looks like, again, going to be getting into mid fairly quickly. It's going to be the battle between these two. And Neo, he gets smoked off on short. So no real chance for him to do anything with this. Just ready and waiting. Going to take a shot blind and won't connect with anything. So now V, once again, you were talking about this B-bomb site, Semra, and it seems like that's what they're setting up for by Ali. Three people coming for him. Flamey leading the charge here. Instant headshot on one, and it's a second headshot, but it's not going to be the kill. Taz will follow it up, and Pasha's back here still. It's a solid defense being put up right now from VP, and Pasha helping out means seized, and Guardian are left, and things aren't looking too good for Na'Vi. Finally, VP, they managed to step it up here. Guardian, what is he going to do? This is when Navi start to thinking, start to think A. I think we may be seeing an A execute in the next round from them. Although the money is not going to be very good for them at all, that's for sure. Let me see, because I think that they're already pushing right on the edge. Yeah, oh, well, they still have 8,200 on C's, so they will have enough to force. Yeah, but enough of that bank, then you know it doesn't really work out so well. Um, Top smokes. Oh no, they still go for the up on Guardian. I guess. So long as they can afford three smokes. Yeah, there we go. They have four smokes. Tech 9 on Zeus. They have all the smokes. And the bomb is waiting in T-spawn this time. It is going to start heading out and actually they drop it back in T-spawn. Okay, so they're leaving their options open. Navi, this could be that round where they actually try to shift things up. Well, we're going to see if they can find one more opening. Frag, double up setup on VP's side as well. Snacks and Neo each picking up a kill. Snacks has been successful in the past doing it. So, I mean, obviously the, the fun fact here or the fun... Um, point is that Pasha isn't doing the opening, but we know now we've sort of got used to the fact that Neo's probably taken over that role in the team, but um, Pasha seems to have sort of stepped away entirely, but he's still actually putting out uh, a lot of really important kills on the board here, so. He's an example of a, one of a player who's just made that transition, right? Yeah. Straight over towards the rifle, hasn't looked back either. He had a moment, he, uh, how many months ago, where he was kind of, uh, you know, playing around with the op again, trying to test it out, but I think since the op nerf, he's pretty much, you know, given it up completely. So let's see, Neo, instant flick onto Edward. That pretty much tombs any chance here for Na'Vi. In a force by scenario, Guardian misses his shot, but now they have the information as to where Guardian's playing from. This smoke on short is certainly going to slow things down here for Na'Vi, who only have 30 seconds, and the bomb is still back in T-spawn. Yeah, so it seems like a bit of a mismanaged round here from the terrorist side. There's almost no way you can get onto a bomb site with this little time left. 20 seconds, and they are running for that A bomb site. Pasha gonna get a kill on Zeus and Snacks. If he gets one shot here on the bomb carrier, the round is gonna be over immediately. So he needs a bit of help. One guy's coming out of apartments as well, and they are gonna be running back here, just giving up on the round. But Neo now trying to see if he can get the kill. Drop seized and looking for a bit more. It's a third kill for Neo. And leaving Guardian alone. It's a very strange round, Semler. You know what we can attribute this to, though? What? I think it's growing pains again. Starix changing the leadership up. He may be trying to get used to this feel, right? And we may be coming back to that to that discussion that we've been having where it's just like, okay, can you actually effectively lead in these kinds of situations where it has to be a snap decision and every second matters? Can you effectively lead when you're not actually, like, in the server playing? Maybe it's like a, you know, like a really... A really simple problem. Maybe they were like, you know, Pasha, go back and pick up the bomb, but he only responds if you finish the sentence with my friend. So, you know, Starix forgot, and then that's it. <laughs> I don't know. I was, I, I was shaking, shaking head. Oh. 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 Edward. He gave away the shot, though. Neil's got to be wondering how he got shot. Uh, Zeus has gone down. Flamey actually gets a frag on by Ali. And Snacks are going to be taking down Edward. So, Navi at least doing a little bit of damage. And a little bit more there as Neo goes down. This is not what the VP need. They need to come out of this round with a lot of people left alive. And Snacks is doing his best to make sure that's going to be the case. Flamey, last man standing here. If we could find a rifle somewhere or at least another kill, that'd be great. Yeah, and that's... He's going to find a kill, but... He doesn't have to worry about planting anything anymore, Anders. 
It's all over. All, all the worries are gone. It's all over. And they save both AWPs as well. So, oh, match is set to pause, though. Okay, then. Could it be? Attack timeout. Uh, well, we've not seen anyone disconnected just yet, so obviously we don't know just yet, but um, it could be, I suppose. All right, but that last round from, from Na'Vi, then, just running out of time. Yeah. That's, uh, that, that's, that's usually w when we see that sort of thing. It is like a miscommunication error or something along those lines that that causes uh, things to uh, to fall apart. Like, they were kind of just milling around. They weren't really finding uh, finding their way onto a site, and that might just come down to a lack of decisiveness, right? To, to say, this is the play. Go for it. We'll see if it's going to show itself again. I mean, otherwise, Navi have definitely been on point. A lot of those BX shoots have worked really well. They're quick up on Catwalk. And this time, they're finally going to go for it. And it might be the perfect time. There's only one person defending here from versus Pro. It's going to be Snacks holding all the way in CT spawn. But Smokes are going to rain in to block him off. Let's see if he can jump and look over them. That's possible. Neo is going to be quick in here with some counter Molotovs coming out as well. And he's not afraid to push behind this AWP. Jesus, all these Molotovs. This is perfectly timed here by Navi. And it's going to be Taz pushing through. Only one for one, though. Not going to be good enough. Guardian overwhelms him. And they're just dancing around on the edge. Neo can't actually find a way in to peek effectively. We'll be able to pick up that kill, but this is starting to get a bit dangerous here for Navi. They're trading effectively, but they've run out of smokes to actually get this bomb plant down with. Nice shot from Neo as well. Gets one, but he walks into Edward's headshot there, and now it's all on Snacks. AWP in, in his hands, and look at Sue. She's running away. I'm not sure why Edward wanted to jump in this new patch. That is dangerous. And now Snacks, is he going to be able to catch the cross? He sees it coming and shoots Seuss in the back in a very weird round here for Navi at the end. It's a great idea, you know, two versus one. Why not just let one guy run to be? But jumping in that corner, why not at least let him come and find you? Yeah. Yeah, then this this is kind of talking about some habits, some old habits that, uh, that might uh, still be in play. Pre-patch, right? You can jump. You might be able to get away with that jump. Of course, it's insane to risk it, but still, you might be able to get away with it. Now, I mean, even an opera of Snacks' caliber can hit that kind of shot. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm wondering. Nicely done there by Bialy to run up and feed himself to Seize, but he did get the headshot, so... Did drop him down to six. Scare factor Snacks. Not oh. quick enough with the flick. Guardian just walking in for the smoke with the AK and he sprays down Neo. He's so quick. Jumping over Tetris right up onto the stairwell. Taz there. Gonna get the one frag, but Edward will take him down and things are looking really tricky now for Virtus Pro as they are about to lose this round and again their money is not gonna be great here. This is where we can kind of take some of the, the uh, load off of Starx's shoulders, right? Because they're gonna have seven rounds Navi on the board. T side and CT side should be a bit easier for him when it comes to the calls as far as, you know, yeah. calling for the rotations based on the information he's getting from his teammates, etc. It might be a little bit uh, easier going. So I, don't, I think that Navi, man, they, they've just got all everything they need here to win this map. Kind of ruin VP's clean streak for tonight. It's a bit confusing, isn't it, in the sense that um, uh, the economy on the on VP side here is just completely sort of tilted. Pasha and Snacks have a lot of money, and the other three members really don't. So they are able to spread it out between them, which is good news. And even buying uh, grenades, yeah, they're almost everyone, I think, except by Ali here, uh, pretty much kitted out on grenades. So it's all or nothing here. This could be VP bringing it back to 8-7 in their favor, or they could have a very bad first half at 9-6 if they lose this round. There we go, Neo changing it up. Very quick push up here on the short. A Guardian holding the angle passive. Again, l looking to counter Virtus Pro's preferred strat. We've seen that strat twice now from VP where they try to push up the top mid, or at least Neo does. Three times, in fact. And uh, so natural that Navi looking to just counter that. Nice leg shot there by Guardian. The pop flash goes out, or at least the bank existence flash. And there's a the shot. Snacks finding that angle. Gets the second one as well. And he didn't even look like he stopped there for that shot. No, that looked effortless, just uh, dancing around in mid-connector and uh, picking up those two kills here. Now, Renavi going to continue to try and execute on this site here. Great flashbang coming out, and Pasha will go down. Still a guy close to the bomb site here is Bayali dropping the bomb, and now two versus three here. Bayali just buying time and staying alive. Seized is going to be all alone. Trying to see if he could find the opening, and he's going to get shut down by my alley. So great round here, seven for seven. The buy for VP it works out just fine. Let's see if they can bring it all the way home.
And they should be able to. They're going to have all the money they need to go for the buy here. And right now I'm curious to see if we're going to get another A plant. A, a strat coming out from Navi because it's another quasi buy for them. Three rifles, two tech nines, decent nade count. The bomb... No, that's just Guardian setting up the mid smoke. So the bomb is still going to be in mid. Doesn't look like it's going to be that clear cut here for Navi. Again, perhaps hoping to catch somebody out of position. Get that mid control. They are going to be able to make their way through the smoke. Neo spots a man on the edge and then walks out into the open. There was a bit of an opportunity there, but this is clever by Navi. They just go rushing right through onto that B site. And Neo might have an idea, so they are trying to see if they can just uh, defend for a while before the backup shows up. Seuss going to take down Patrick by Ali drops as well. Edward with the kill, and look how fast they are in kitchen. Neo, he didn't see it coming. Now Snacks and Taz. How could they possibly retake this? Well, now it's one versus four. No chance at all. Obviously going to go for it anyway here. And now we at least giving him an opening with that early frag there. Turns around, but Seuss going to shoot him in the back for the triple kill. And it will finish 8-7 in Na'Vi's favor. And all in all, that is a... Well, I mean, I think for anybody who's used to watching good CS, that's a huge scoreline for Na'Vi. This is still a CT-sided map, pretty sure. 9-6 is usually what you expect to see. And, well... Navi have just flipped the world on its head. And all of that due to just very a very aggressive buy strategy from Virtus Pro. Them cutting it really close in the pistol, and then even more close in the second round. I think them going for the aggressive buys, really trying to trying to pounce on the economic damage that they did to Navi early on in the half, where they were able to just like it was just, you know, one guy surviving for Navi, one guy surviving for Navi. So yeah. they're thinking, okay, keep forcing, keep forcing, you know, because if we win this round, they're eco screwed, like we're gonna be able to just completely wipe them out. But they gave VP. I mean, they gave Navi so many rounds at the beginning of the half due to that strategy that I think there was a lot less pressure on Navi towards the end of it. It also seemed like Navi just came in with a different sort of pace. Generally speaking, they they were just really quick. There wasn't a lot of waiting around. You know, as soon as they found the mid control, they would they would switch to that B bomb side and they work out pretty well. Great opening frags took a long time for a VP to really adjust, and then in spite of that really weird round where they sort of ran out of time, things looked pretty well coordinated. So um, I think overall. Uh, Navi, they, they've they got a good lead here leading into the second half, which is starting now. If they can win this pistol round, I think it's going to be great. Yeah, this is where they can just completely, like, clothesline VP. Shut them out. And what do VP have in store for us here? Double nade by already. That's interesting. And then Bialy, what are you going to spend your $800 on, Bialy? P250 and more nades. Okay, straight up A strat. Edward going Seuss in the pistol round. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dude, this is the new. This is like Kiyoshima as well does this, right? It's like Kevlar, whatever. Drop the hundred bucks. It's better than a decoy, I guess. Well, some uh, counter flashes are ready here. Actually, grenade coming in from Seuss. It's going to be a little bit off uh, balance there. It doesn't really do any damage to anybody. Snacks pushing up in jungle, trying to be and find a kill on somebody here. And Guardian ends up going down. Sees with a frag on the Taz and Pasha's dropped as well. Snacks still looking for more with that burst fire. Eight bullets left, and he's going to find Seize just soaking him out as he's reloading. Bomb is planted, and it is looking fairly good for VP here. They're doing the damage. Seuss is going to find the refrag there on Neo, and out Snacks and Bayali left. Nice bait there by Edward, and Edward is actually going to find the headshot. 8 HP left on him, and they know exactly where Snacks is playing from. Great shot there by Zeus to just lock down this round. And he's got the kit, plenty of time for the defuse. What a recovery from Na'Vi. From, that definitely seemed like VP had a chance. Even with how long it took Snacks to actually win that fight, it was only Snacks getting the two kills. The rest of his teammates all just got wiped out in the end. So, I mean... I mean, a very straightforward approach from Virtus Pro. Although, as I say that, I still have to think, like, you know, Snacks running through smoke in the jungle. It was like a straightforward smoke approach, and then they're like, yeah. You know what? I'm, it's time for the big plays. Boom. So, big plays. I mean, if they had all pushed up, then that grenade would have been golden. But um, it was Pasha taking one, or at least a little bit of damage for the team there. Blind spray through from Guardian. Not really going to connect with too much. A little bit of damage onto Taz here. And it's just a Tech 9 arm around here. VP looking to do a bit of damage. And Navi just need to hold on to what they got here. Make sure they don't let any way back into the game for the Polish team. Four versus three. And Seize crouching into window room to take down. Neo last dropping is by Ali. This lead for Navi as they survive with four members in this round is looking better and better. Yeah, I still think that this is where it gets really scary for VP because there's no there's no longer going to be that hesitation um, 
from Starks trying to make the calls right on the T side. There, there were there were a couple rounds where it looked a little shaky for Navi, even though they were getting so many rounds out of it. It could have been even scarier, I think. Right now, though, Navi, it's all just going to be about that aim and communication. Two things that they excel at. Very quick smoke going in, but not an not an effective smoke so much anymore, just because of what we see here. There's a gap to exploit, and Guardian, of course, jumping in to take advantage of that. Let's see how much more aggressively Navi's playing this round as opposed to the last one. Uh, they knew there was no armor, no tech nines in play, so they just take the fight in the middle. They're not worried at all. Yeah. Really makes a big difference here on the... Yeah, when you're playing against no armor at all. Four round lead here for Navi, 11 to 7. And now VP finally have the money. Top fragging, snacks at 18 kills, then Seuss, which is a... I mean... It's not really supposed to be his role, but it's one that he occupies on a regular basis, actually, when we were talking about, I guess he's not in-game leading in the same way, but even when he was, he actually did do a lot of damage. Yeah, he was actually one of those leaders who kind of led by example. Yeah. Nice start there by Guardian, though. He's got his AWP. First thing he goes for, of course, no surprise. And, well, not the straightforward window approach. Instead, getting that frag from Connector. Snacks down to 59 as well. Nade's just gonna be bombarding him. Guardian takes out Neo from short. He spotted the second man as well. He knows that Snacks is close. He takes out Snacks. Goes for more! Finally, somebody shuts this man down. Way too much damage dealt. Guardian, this is where you start to get really scared if you're Virtus Pro. He's tuned in, and you could always ask the question, did he need to go for the, for the fourth kill then? He probably didn't, but... Um... You know, once you start feeling it and you start hitting those shots, you kind of just want to keep going, keep the rhythm. It's Taz and Bialy left here, two versus three, about 45 seconds. Only one person defending A. If they find this kill, they can get the bomb plant down, but Seuss takes one with him before he goes, and now it's all on Bialy. He's got the triple, needs a bomb plant, and is looking for the ace to win this round. Ace clutch. The ace clutch. Always possible, but not today. Sazed will be able to shut him down fairly easily, and he's even going to save the AWP for Guardian. That was the key move. Edward has a kit, so no worries at all. He'll be able to get the defuse in no time. So, man, VP, they just can't seem to string it together. I guess feeding yourself one after another to Guardian in mid as well isn't like the best strategy to go about, you know, winning this map, right? There are better options out there, uh, w without a doubt. I feel like they got a little bit distracted because there were two people on catwalk and I think they were making enough noise that, mm. that suddenly the focus wasn't on Guardian anymore uh, in that window and then he just took the opportunity. So 12-7 and leading into the fifth round, second half here, one Galil. Not that many grenades either on that, on VP's side, but they've got to make something happen here. This could be it. I think Guardian jumped down. Yes, he did. Wants to get in position to support his teammate and there it is. So he's going to hold that close angle. Zeus starts off by taking out Neo. That had to happen though for Seized. Him dropping is not going to help things here for Na'Vi. They do speed up behind that. We see Guardian trying to change up his angle, trying to be a little bit less predictable. But Seized, that was the big kill. Had he picked that up, VP would be just floundering at this point. Instead, it's yeah. actually become a bit of a close round. Yeah, a bit sloppy play, I would say, there on the on the Navi side. Looked like it could have been a mo lot more solid there. Bomb's going to, oh sorry, Smoke's going to go down, but Guardian catches Snatch, jumping up. And is looking for another couple of kills. Almost gets that flick there, trying to the blind shot through there. Out of grenades, and Pasha, he really wants this bomb plant. And he's not far off. He will get it just before he dies. Flamey picking up that kill. And Bailey now trapped in the corner. Then three members of EP are coming for him, and he's only going to get the one headshot in there. So no issue at all here. <laughs> and Fire not going to do a thing to that Guardian. So 13 to 7. This lead just keeps building here. This second half has not been good for VP. No, it hasn't. And in large part due to this man right here. 19 frags on the board. He's just tied stacks up for that to top fragging on the roll. Yeah, as we can see. Although Zeus is keeping up right behind him. Edward with 15. I mean, solid across the board. Apart from Seized. And that, yeah, Seized had a bit of a rough, uh, rough time that last round. Again, going to put the emphasis on him just because had he picked up that kill at top mid, that would have been pretty much round in the bag. It would have never got that close. But still, VP... It's not like they're out of this yet. They still managed to get a bomb plant, so they're getting bonus money to work with, which means more nades. Bomb back in T-spawn as well kind of makes you wonder. I mean, they have the nades to go for an A execute if they wanted to. Two smokes, though. It's not ideal. It'll definitely uh, put some strain on that kind of push. It means there's so many more angles to cover in the A bomb side if you try and make it work. They've already put one of them up there. Top connector. 
A lot of members in the middle right now for VP. Look at this, they're just falling apart. Guardian and Zeus. Flamey picking up a kill. Finally, Guardian dies, but it might have been too late here. Headshot by Edward and Zeus. Easy frag on Neo. And this is pretty much it. VP, no bomb plant. Let's see. Shouldn't have any money to work with in this round. Yeah, 34, 38. They have to force if they want to keep Navi off match point. Whereas Navi just look indomitable. They're making all the right calls. Everybody's landing their shots as well. I mean, if VP go for the buy, yeah, they are going to go for the buy. It feels like it's going to be more of the same. Yeah, they actually have to go ahead and downgrade on the weaponry just to make sure that they have some nades to work with here. Bialy, no, okay, he's got an AK. But that's it. The three guys who have AKs, they have no nades. So again, they're very limited with their options. One of those smokes is going to go sailing out. And that's not a smoke, that's a decoy. Actually, they're trying to make him think that this is an eco round. VP, you're so clever. Bialy actually dropped his gun when he threw that decoy, so it only sounds like a Glock. Yeah, I mean, a, a cool little detail. I don't think it'll be the detail that's going to, you know, change anything here. We are looking at almost uh, match point here for Na'Vi, so it wouldn't be, I think, it's too much of a surprise that maybe VP have gone for a bit of a force up here. But, you know, I guess every little bit matters. Well, definitely trying to... Trying to bait Navi into a bit more of an aggressive approach, such as Edward running backwards into T-Spawn. Unfortunately for him, that uh, really didn't work. And now that kind of sets it up here for Virtus Pro, because we've got Snacks just dancing around on the edge here, working his way into jungle. He's looking to catch somebody out of position, but Zeus holds the angle. Very good timing there for Zeus to actually peek and make sure that they weren't getting backstabbed there, Navi. Bit scary moment there at Seized. It also turns back to two players. We can tell the bomb is going back to the A bomb site. There are two people still on here. And the, the other two over by the B site. So this is all about entry frags. Seized is going to go down, but Guardian is still playing. He's already managed to leg. Neo is down to 20 health. So he's going to be peeking out, and he could have got that kill. Headshot comes through, and the bomb now making its way onto the site. 13 seconds. Guardian, if he gets that frag, they might just win the round, but it's not going to happen now. Flamey. Gonna get a headshot on Pasha, and he's gonna look for the clutch here. Bomb gets planted with three seconds, though. And now they know exactly where he's coming from. They set up into a, you know, they just can set up for the split, for the crossfire. I thought Taz was gonna go crazy there and actually peek, but he decides to play it safely, falling back into pit, making sure that his teammates got his back. He does go for a peek behind a pop flash. This is a bit much. He will be able to land the kill, but Flamey nearly given two chances there to actually turn that into a 1v1 scenario, which would have definitely been winnable for him. He had a kit to work with. Yeah, just a little bit scary, I would say, you know, just that, that initial peak there could have cost them a lot. But uh, 14 to 8, money is still with uh, Na'Vi. Double up setup is what they're going to go for. Guardian and Seized with the other one. hey -o. Seized as well. Usually, yeah. or at least, you used to really just see Edward picking up the op, right? That would be the yeah. double op strat for Na'Vi, but... Seized going for it, he just wants to play on these B apps, it seems. And he really hasn't been getting too much action over here for... Poor Son, Wow. So. That was a nice nade. Neo. Look at the angles here. One gonna peek. Neo gonna get the shot. Is he gonna try and see if he can re-peek it? Seized really wants him to, and he's gonna be able to get that kill, so... I'm at a loss. Yeah, that kind of crouch in there. Not quite sure what that was about. That was, um... Hmm. Maybe trying to get under the silhouette, using the corpse to sneak up. I don't know. Options. There were some, but... The way that it pans out is... It's a four-on-four four situation. A couple of nades left on VP. Very limited nades for Na'Vi as well. Double off still for Na'Vi. And it does look like VP want to work their way up short towards this B site. Guardian, though, should be able to get in position to deal with this fast enough, however. If that push does come through, it's still waiting up in B apartments, that bomb. And Seized, looking towards short. There's still, I mean, there's still three players here for VP. But they're running out of time. 35 seconds left, and there it is. First shot goes in, Seized lands it. Solid work on his part, and now Guardian's there to hold the line with him. Guardian drops Taz out, and that actually drops the bomb as well. And Seized hit a leg shot as well. He gets a shot through the frame of the window, and Bayali is going to be gone now. Pasha, last man left here. One versus three, and he's got 11 health left. Doesn't look too good for him here as the GoTV has a bit of a hiccup. It might just be all over and done with. 15th round for Na'Vi. It's going to happen as Edward gets that kill, and now it is going to be seven match points here for Na for VP to bring it back to overtime. Uh, they're going to be able to lock it down, especially considering the state of their economy. No bomb plant, no nothing to go off of. Pistol force again. That's been the story of VP's life here on this map. Constantly screwing their money, not having enough to work with. Not enough nades, and well, in this case, not enough firepower. I mean, they do have double D and the, and the uh, scout as well, but 
It's a fully equipped Navi that they're running into here with all the fixings. They've got everything they need here, Navi, to just end this map with a very solid scoreline as well. 16-8 would be fantastic for them considering the round difference. Yeah, that's what VP were doing to uh, Hellraisers and SK earlier in, in, in earlier in the evening, but this time it's just switched around a little bit here. Navi looking like the better team on Mirage, at least tonight. Flamey looking for an opening. He also put down the Molotov Guardian, gonna open it up, and Snax is playing very close here, but that smoke is gonna force him back. And he wishes he could still see under it. Yep, he's looking for that gap, right? But there's the opening frag already to start. Guardian just just doing what Guardian does. Dominating mid, essentially. C is checking underpass, but he's just a second too late. And well, Navi don't need to take any risks at this point. It's ticked past that point now. 50 seconds left on this clock. Bomb making its way mid. They did manage to sneak a man up into jungle this time around, but Guardian again strikes out, takes snacks. And it's going to be Taz, Neo, and Bialy, the last three alive here for Virtus Pro. They begin their push up onto the A site. Edward, though, so brave, just stands and clicks. And he's got his, his teammate there to support him as well. Wow. Yeah, everybody dead in the, in the blink of an eye. Yeah, it looked like they could have been around there. Two versus three at the end, but then it got, it's just gone immediately. So 16-8 victory. It's going to be Navi running away with it on Mirage. I mean, so many...